Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Cult of the Lamb working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. This is going to include a Steam install tutorial and I'm going to show you how to get the game running on Apple Silicon hardware. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tutorials. So first we're going to go ahead and open up this Safari application and then we're going to go to steampower.com and then we're going to type that in and then press return. Alternatively, you can find this by going to Google and then type in the word Steam. Then you can find store.steampower.com. Just click on this and then we're going to find the Steam website. So I'm going to double click here to maximize this. What you need to do is to find the green icon here called install Steam. So click on this and then I'm going to press the install Steam button here. So it's automatically detected that we're downloading the Mac version of Steam and that's going to go ahead and go into our downloads folder. So here we're going to minimize and then we're going to go to Finder and then within Finder we're going to go to our downloads folder and we're going to find steam.dmg. So just double click on this and then what we need to do here is to drag and drop this into the applications folder. So hold the Steam icon here with your left mouse button. So just hold down the left trackpad or left mouse button and then when you get to the applications folder here just let go. And what that's going to do is to put it into our applications folder. If we scroll down a little bit we're going to find our Steam icon here. So what we need to do is to double click and it's asking us are we sure we want to open it? Just press open. If this is the first Intel application that you've opened it's going to ask you to install Rosetta. However I've already installed it so all it's doing now is doing an update of Steam and then we're going to move on to the next step. So once that's done, what we can do is to go ahead and create a new account. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. Or what we're going to do is to log into our existing account. So all you have to do is to type in your username and password and then we'll press the login button. So here it's asking us to confirm authenticating. So here it's asking us to confirm our email. So what we're going to do is press next and check our email address and find the Steam code. So just check your email registered to Steam and type in the code that it sends you. So once you've typed that in, it's saying here success, press finish. So now it's going ahead and logging into our account and it's opening our friends list here. So you might have noticed on the top right there are a couple of new notifications that have been added by macOS Ventura. You can click on these to check the login items. If we click on it we can see that Steam is set to open on login. You can decide to remove this if you like just by selecting it and removing it. So now we can easily go ahead and go to the store and let's say I want to purchase a game like Cult of the Lamb. I can go ahead and scroll down and then click add to cart and then purchase the game. So what I could do is press add to cart and then I can click purchase for myself and then it's going to get added to my library. I already have this game on my library so I'm just going to show you how to download and install it. So here I'm going to type in cult and then I've got the cult of the lamb game here. I'm going to press install and it's saying here we need 1.16 gigabytes. I'm going to press next and it's going to go ahead and download and install this into our Steam library. So just wait for that to complete. So once the download is complete we can go ahead and press the play button and that's going to launch the game for us. So now this is how you get cult of the lamb working on modern Apple Silicon Mac. This is still an Intel application so it means that it's running through Rosetta 2. However you can see from the top left hand side I've turned the frame rate counter on and we're running at a pretty solid 60 frames per second. So anyway I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.